All right, guys. So what we're looking at here is the fourth iteration of this plane. And it's the third iteration where I'm using the smallest brushless motor in the world, the RazorStar BR0603B. Now, I do have a laser cutter now, and I gotta say that this has dramatically changed my design process. Because everything that you're looking at here, except this black piece, the fuselage, which is going to be carbon fiber, everything else is going to be either laser cut or 3D printed. And that's the first time that I've ever modeled, 3D modeled, you know, everything on a plane before um, doing a single cut with a knife or gluing anything. So this is just the whole thing, the whole thing. So that's, um, that's a very new experience to me. Of course, I've done 3D modeling, 3D modeling before for my 3D printer parts, but never uh, on a scale like this before. So this, is, this has been really cool to try. Now, as it sits here, I can't cut it, I can't print it. Um, I need to, uh, to break it down into uh, smaller sections. Especially because when laser cutting, here's the, here's the parts that I prepared for the tail, you want to make sure that everything touches the work plane. So everything needs to be flat on the plane. This is what's getting, getting transferred. Because if I were to, um, to export this for laser cutting, I just mark it, go export and then laser cut and get SVG files, which I could then uh, carry on to my, my printer. Now, the tail pieces here, um, one thing that I'm very um, excited about is the ability to cut small holes um, and then make these small stops here so that I can attach my vertical stabilizers directly into my horizontal and create a great bond. Um, previously, I just had it on top, resting on top, and then glued together. So this is a much, much stronger bond. Of course, I could have done that before, but this way it's just so easy to, uh, to accomplish that. Um, the wing is modeled, sorry, the tail here, the design is modeled over the original one. Um, but I've just, I'm just using the outline and then cutting away all the, the, the middle here. Everything's going to be covered with um, the grocery store plastic bag I'm using also for the wing cover. All right, so the wing, um, here are the ribs that, I'll, uh, that I've made, are going to be making on the laser cutter. And first I should mention that the way that I've digitalized the wing shape is first I traced the, the wing shape using the original wing onto a piece of cardboard, dyed it black for better contrast. Then I used Adobe Capture app, free app on my phone, took a, um, took a, a picture of it and then let it do its thing. So it was converted into SVG, which I could then just import into Tinkercad and then scale it to size. Then I cut away um, some, some round holes to, to weight savings and also made sure that my strips front and back and main bar was, uh, was ready, to, ready to be used. My strips are right here. I'm also be cutting those on my laser cutter. Then my 3D printed parts, um, I got my um, motor mount, including the landing gear, servo mount right here, and my two wing mounts, including uh, my uh, pushrod guides. Then I have my tail mounts, including the, the back landing gear and some pushrod connectors that's gonna go on to the uh, glue on to, uh, to the wing, no, the tail. So that's it. Um, let's have a look at how this um, looks when everything is cut, printed and glued together. Yeah. All right, here it is. I'm just going to skip right ahead to the most successful part of this version of the plane, and that's the tail. I really like how this tail looks and how it feels. It's surprisingly, um, I'm not going to call it strong, but 
given its its um, low weight, I'm just surprised about how uh, how uh, solid it, it it appears to be. And also, it just you know it looks great. It looks so much better than the previous version. I have that right here. This was very you know prototype look and feel, but it it was still better than the not not better, but it was a whole gram lighter. I believe it was it was a 1.5. Still a lot lighter than the the version that came before this. So this one still served its purpose, but it was just very square stuff. Whereas this one, I've uh, I modeled the original tail, so it looks. It just looks pro. Look at it. And uh, working with these laser cut parts has been awesome because I've um, um, the old one. I just put the vertical onto the stabilizer, uh, so the vertical stabilizer onto the horizontal stabilizer, and just glued it so that it's just resting on top. Right now they're interlocking, the deprons interlocking with each other, and also glued together. So it's great. Great connection. Now this has also meant that I've reduced um, some uh, material in, in the mounts because before some of the, the mounts would also grip onto the vertical in both here and here. I reduced those because I believe I don't need it. Uh, so right now they're just um, they're just pinning down the tail onto the uh, to the carbon fiber. So very pleased with this tail. Awesome. Now it's a one gram lighter. Than, than this, and this has also means that the CG has shifted a bit. Com of course, combined with the weight reduction of the tail, I'll sh oh, sorry, the wing, I'll show you in a second. But I have been able to split uh, the servo out into its own mount and moved it right behind the leading edge of the wing. I did have to put the battery all the way to the front to get the CG right. But that was cool, it looks less stupid now that the servo is here, but I'm probably going to move it back again because the CD wasn't perfect, and um, the 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 wings going to be a bit uh, probably going to be a bit heavier as well in my next iteration. So, but yeah, that's the rest is the same. So, if you're new to this uh, series, go back check my other videos. You can go then you know what I'm talking about. Now the wing, oh this wing, I. Um, I hoped I could make it stronger and lighter compared to my previous version. It's definitely lighter, it's just 6 grams, the other one was 10, but it's not stronger at all. As you've seen, it, it's, it broke after just 20 seconds. Now my previous version, which I have right here, has carbon fiber, um, front, back and main spar, and is um, a lot more sturdy. But um, still, it had very weak glue points because of the thin, very thin carbon fiber, which is why I believed that having larger strips of Depron would create a larger glue surfaces, and that's that's still true. But even on the bench, after I finished it and uh, without having flown it, I realized that the the trailing edge here, the strip here, is too thin because the wing couldn't even maintain its own shape uh, sitting on the bench. So I knew I had to to make this uh, thicker. So they would, it wouldn't bend as easy. Now it, it does not appear to be bending as much here in the front because the main bar and um, the leading edge strips combined together because they're so close to each other gives uh, more flexibility. But I'm going to be replacing uh, the main bar with carbon fiber um, because I do need some sort of backbone to make sure that it it's, um, has some sort of uh, stability. So and then maintain. Um, the, the leading, edge, leading edge here that's still going to be using Depron. So I'm going to be weight increasing because of a bigger strip, carbon fiber also increasing the weight, but I will be re reducing some weight in the ribs because um, this is three millimeter Depron, and I'm going to attempt to use two, or maybe even one millimeter Depron, um, and every other one is is uh, not every but I got three here where they are glued together. At least in those, I should be able to reduce the thickness of the ribs significantly because we have a three millimeter strip in between those ribs. So it's very strong, very strong um, construction here. So at least here I can reduce a lot, but here I may need to remain three or even two. I don't know. I'm just going to have to see. Uh, but overall, I hope that I can keep the weight down to 
maybe yeah maybe maybe still six grams that would be cool maybe seven um that would be great so uh, that's going to be my um my next iteration i don't know if i'm gonna also lighten up the tail because i think i could reduce the weight of the, uh, the deep run the weight uh, the, the material used here because it's so it's 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 really solid so um maybe eventually i'm gonna do it but i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it in my next video we're just gonna have to see um but um yeah that's um that's all for now guys i hope you enjoyed and um thanks for watching cheers